Investigators now looking into a crash where a dump truck driver died after his vehicle went into Pineview Reservoir on Friday. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold goes in depth tonight with the Utah Highway Patrol about the thorough inspection process commercial vehicles have to go through. The crime tape remains from a crash on Friday where the driver of a dump truck was killed after his vehicle crashed into Pineview Reservoir. It was in September of last year the Weber Fire District posted these pictures on Facebook of a similar incident where a dump truck also ended up in a heavily wooded, deep ravine near SR-39 after they say it lost its brakes coming down Trapper's Loop. We're talking maybe a couple in the last couple of years. Utah Highway you know, Patrol Lieutenant Justin Cheney has been covering Weber and Morgan the counties the for see, the past you know, four kind of years. Off. Come down that long of a, a decline down that hill, um, brakes are going to heat up. And, you know, by the time you hit the bottom, they'll either fail or you look at a couple different things, you know, driver experience in, in coming down hills like that. According to the Utah Department of Public Safety, the driver of the dump truck on Friday appeared to have lost his brakes coming down Trapper's Loop before going off the road and into Pineview Reservoir. We'll get, you know, our commercial vehicle department involved to go through, do a full inspection on the truck, find out if the brakes were all calibrated right, set right. According to the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, there are 4 million commercial motor vehicle inspections conducted every year around the country. That includes eight levels of inspections that are done for commercial vehicles, according to the CVSA. A level three is we check driver log books. We try to get into the truck and talk to the drivers. Lieutenant Harley Watkins is over the commercial motor vehicle enforcement section for the Utah Highway Patrol. We check brakes, we check lights, we check all the safety features that the the federal government regulates. When it comes to commercial vehicles here in Utah, Lieutenant Watkins says we've seen double the rate of incidents this year versus last year. Something he says isn't always the fault of the commercial vehicle driver. Last year, 11% of our crashes in the state of Utah involved a commercial motor vehicle. This year, we're at 24. One out of every four crashes in the state right now. Which is why he's urging drivers to be careful out on the roadways. We need to look at our own personal driving behavior and maybe give them a little more room. We need our drivers to look at what they're doing, to be aware of what they're loaded with and hauling, and to not haul a load if it's not safe. Well, as for Friday's incident, the Utah Highway Patrol tells me that the crash is still under investigation at this time. In Huntsville, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.